In the last video, we created the most basic GUI possible. It brought up a window and it had a title on the window, but there was nothing in the window for us to work with. In order to add stuff to the window, we need to go one layer deeper and we need to add a scene into our stage. And then we can add the elements that we want, which are called nodes, into that scene. So let's start with the code that we had last time. We have our app, our app has a stage inside of it, our stage has a title. And then inside of this stage, we're also going to set a scene. So the stage has a member called scene that we can assign to, and we're going to make a new scene. And at this point, we can decide how big we want this to be. I'll go right now with making it, say, 400 by 300. So it'll be 400 pixels across and 300 pixels up and down. Now. I said new scene here. In order for that to work nicely, we're going to need another import. So scalafx.scene.scene is the type that we are using there. Once again, if you were to have a hard time remembering that, you can always check in the API. If you do a search for scene, you'll see there's an entire package called scene, and it has a class called scene inside of it. Okay, so you can find the things that you want inside of the API if you don't remember exactly where they're located. Then I want to add one thing into this scene. And for that, I am going to add a button. So I'll create a new button. And we can, once again, go look at our API. We can figure out where button is. Button is under scene control, so we'll want to import that. And we can set one up with some text that is the string that displays it. So click me is a nice message for our button. Let's go ahead and let's import scalafx.scene.control. And I could just say button, but I'm going to go ahead and put an underscore because we might want some other things from that package. There are actually quite a few useful things in the control package. Just creating the button doesn't make it appear. In order to make it appear, we need to have it be part of the contents of our scene. So we can assign to content a single one of these nodes. So button is a subtype of node, and that needs two t's in it. We can assign a single one. And at that point, it would be a good idea to come over here and try running this. And here is our window. And has a button in it that says, click me. We have the scene. You'll note that the color change from the previous version, when we had no scene, it was just a gray background. The size is a bit different too because the 400 by 300 is a bit larger than what we had previously. So this gives us our simple contents and it's kind of just a small step up in what we can do with creating our GUIs. We'll come back and we'll look at how we can A, get this button so it's not just centered in the top corner and B, uh, work on getting more things into there.